So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to download SRTM DEM using Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So to download SRTM DEM using Google Earth Engine first we have to load our SRTM DEM into Earth Engine. To load our SRTM DEM into Earth Engine we have to define a variable called dataset equals to double dot image usgs srtm mgl1003 so this specific code will insert our srtm dem into earth engine so next we have to define a variable called variable called elevation equals to dataset dot select elevation so here the dataset represents our variable dataset that is our srtm dem and next is we have defined a variable called data equals to dataset dot clip ROI that is refers to region of interest that is our study area. So now let me show you the study area. So I have specifically chosen this is a, this is as my study area. So I have chosen specifically the Okanda as my study area. So now let me show you how to uh, so now let me show you how to select a study area. Let me remove this. So now to uh, choose your region of interest or to create a study area, go to the option called uh, draw a rectangle. Click this. So now let me choose as my study area. So our study area will be Okanda. So now let me uh, draw a rectangle. So this is a polygon. So you can also choose your color. Go to this option called edit layer properties. Now you can choose your color. So now let me choose green color. Now click OK. So now we have selected our region of interest. So it will be displayed in this section variable geometry polygon four vertices. So now let me rename this geometry to ROI that is our region of interest. So now I have uh, renamed as variable called ROI that is region of interest so next so we defined a variable called data equals to dataset dot clip our region of interest that is our study area so next so next we have defined a variable called SA SA dem represents study area dem so equals to data so data here represents our this particular ROI that is our study areas study area ROI so we defined a variable called SA study area dem equals to data dot select so we are specifically selecting elevation data, uh, elevation data from our SRTM dem so that is from our SRTM dem specifically selecting elevation and next suppose if you want to view the properties or the details or the details of this uh, SRTM dem you can uh, print SA dem elevation so it, it will display the property of, property of our study area dem. So for that we define print SA study area dem and output the layer name as elevation. So next we have to, uh, we have to add our layer. So to add our layer into earth engine we have to define map.add layer SA dem so that is our study area dem with a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of around 3000 and output the layer name as study area so this specifically refers to our study area dem so next we're going to uh, add a entire global srtm dem layer dem data so we're going to add the entire global srtm dem so for that i defined map dot add layer data set so data set here refers to our srtm dem so it will import our entire global uh, srtm dem and it will enter insert our entire global SRTM dem with a minimum value of zero and to a maximum value of three thousand, and output the layer name as dataset. That is our global dataset, global SRTM dataset. So next, we have to download or export our SRTM dem to our Google Drive. So to download, so to download our SRTM dem using Google Earth Engine, we have to define export dot image dot to our drive dot to drive refers to our Google Drive and image we are telling it is SA dem that is our study area dem we are exporting only our study area dem and not uh, we are not we are not exporting our entire global dem so only uh, we are exporting our study area dem 
and description the name will be of s r name of this uh, file name will be srtm dem and spatial resolution of uh, our srtm dem is 30 meter resolution and specifically we are selecting the region that is our roi that is our study area region of interest so this specific area so we are specifically uh, exporting only this part of our dem and next uh, mentioning the max pixel of this uh, particular the max pixel of this particular dem file so that is 1 into 10 power 13 so now let us run this code so go to the option called run script and click run script so now we have our uh, details of our SRTM dem so here we are mentioned that SADEM print SADEM elevation so it has given our details so you can able to see the different uh, ID that is USGS SRTM dem version and bands so in SRTM we have only one element and the properties we have 25 properties in our SRTM dem and output the layer name as elevation as mentioned as here so now let us uh, export our SRTM dem to our Google Drive so to export our SRTM to dem to Google Drive go to the option called task so this is our uh, task that is SRTM dem so we can able to pre view that we already have uh, exported my SRTM dem to my Google Drive so it took around 10 minutes to export our SRTM dem based on our connectivity that is internet speed so it took me around 10 minutes to export this SRTM dem of the study area Okanda. So now to export your study area, click this option called run. So now a window has been popped up saying a task initiate image export. So task name is SRTM dem. So spatial resolution scape. So exporting to our drive. And we can also in mention your Google Drive folder. The file name is SRTM. File format is GeoTIFF. So to export your uh, SRTM dem to a Google Drive, click this option called run so now it will be exported to our Google Drive once uh, it has completed its exporting process so now let us view our div layers so now we have two different layer one layer represents our data set that is the global SRTM dem uh, we have uh, imported global SRTM dem into our earth engine the second layer here represents our study area dem so now let me turn this off so now you can clearly able to view that now let me turn this ROI so now you can clearly able to view that this is our Okanda's study area that is our study area dem for entire Okanda we have uh, our study area clipped out from global SRTM dem so suppose if you want to view entire global SRTM dem so let me click this So now we can clearly able to view that we have inserted the SRTM dem of global level. We have a SRTM dem for entire globe. So the white color indicates a very high elevated areas. So we can clearly able to view that the white color here indicates high elevated areas. So we can also import the entire SRTM of global data into your Google Drive. So we have specifically exported only our study area dem. So we have specifically exported only our study area dem. So in this video, I have shown you how to download the SRTM dem using a Google Earth Engine and how to export our SRTM dem. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.